it's Lindy. I'm doing another review today. So this review is on, it's for another product by Built, um, by Built Bar. It's called Built Bites. So these are brand new. Um, the samples were sent to me this morning. These are, so the two, I'm assuming it's only the two flavors that they've brought out. Um, so it's German chocolate and toffee almond. So they're just smaller pieces. They are 60 calories, seven grams of protein, three grams of fiber, two grams of sugar, and two grams of fat. So I have not pointed these out for WW members. I am not too sure yet um, what they are. So I'll double check those for you. So what do we have? Introducing our new product line, Built Bites. Same great bar, just smaller. 22.5 grams a bar. So they're going to be coming in jars. So included with this are two samples of our two flavors we are introducing first. So there will be more. German chocolate cake and toffee almond. These will be released to the public during our Black Friday weekend event this weekend. Um, Built Bites will come in a gallon container with 40 bars. I don't know what the pricing is on these. I, ha I have no idea this just arrived. So I don't know what the pricing is on it, but it's coming in a jar with 40 in it. So I like this idea for a small snack instead of a huge bar. So although I have not been eating my Built Bars as regular um, as I was because we are eating plant-based and the chocolate is milk chocolate, I believe on these. Yeah, it contains milk and soy. One, I would really like to, uh, oh, these do, it says may contain peanuts, pecans and coconut, and then tree nuts, almonds in this one. So these ones are produced in their um, other facility that they set up for the peanut butter ones, I'm assuming. So they do have two facilities now, one that is still nut free and one that does have um, nuts in their bars. So just so everybody's aware, if anybody has nut allergies, they do still have a separate warehouse that they're making their nut-free bars in. So keep that in mind. Um, we are eating plant-based now. So I have not been eating these that much because they do have milk products in them. So, and I have had a lot of people sending the, the suggestions that Built Bar make a bar that does not have the chocolate on them. I've actually had quite a few, which I was shocked because I'm a chocolate lover. So to say I don't want the chocolate was shocking to me, but now I understand. Um, there's a lot of people that don't like chocolate. There's a lot of people that can't eat chocolate. And there's a lot of people that don't eat chocolate, which now that we're gone to plant-based, I understand. So... Built Bar, I would like to send in that suggestion that maybe try and make a bar that does not have the chocolate on it. That might be an option or go a vegan route. If you can find a vegan chocolate to use, might be a good selling point. There's a lot of plant-based people out here now. Um, so I'm going to give these a taste. So what do I want to try here? German chocolate. I guess I'll try both. They're just small bites. So let's go with the German chocolate first. Let's see what these taste like. Okay, so this one is German chocolate. So they're just small bites. It's like a quarter of the size of a full bar. Mm, that's dark chocolate. Those are delicious. It's got nuts in it. You can taste that it has the nuts in it. It's really good. That one's really good. There's no aftertaste. I really like that they're coming out with these new bars with actual ingredients in them. It's so good. It almost has that after bite like the coconut one does where it also it has the real pieces of almond and coconut in it it's good it's really good okay so this one is the toffee almond so this one looks like it has a white filling in it
This one's really good. It's very light. The flavoring is very light. Um, the German chocolate is a stronger taste. It reminds me of the, the, the mint brownie because the chocolate was so powering. It wasn't like it was overpowering, but it was more of the chocolate flavor than anything. It's German chocolate cake, so obviously that's what it's going to be. But these are a lot lighter. They're both very good. I actually don't think I can pick a favorite out of these two because I don't always like a strong flavor, but that is really good. So I'm definitely giving both of these a thumbs up. They're very good. I really like them. Um... Yeah, that's my only suggestion is that Built Bar, if you could come out with something with a vegan option or a plant-based option, that'd be good. But these are really good. Um, so stay tuned for, I guess, the jars. They'll be posted on, uh, they're coming in gallon containers. A gallon of Built Bars. I wonder what the price is going to be on these babies. You'll get 40 of the mini bars in it. Well, I would say that's about a quarter of a, a full bar. So if you're getting 40, that's 10 full bars, roughly. Wonder what the pricing difference is. We'll see. I wonder if these flavors are going to come out in full bars too. So I guess we will stay tuned to see. And also, Built Bar has a great... Black Friday sale on right now so d check the price as always you guys do know that um, you get a 10% discount with my um, promotional code stitch and Lindy 10 um, but there is a discount right now which I believe is $10 for the Black Friday sale so check that out um, for Canadian residents it is ca.builtbar.com for American residents or I believe anybody else I'm not too sure if you can <clears throat> order if you're outside of the states in Canada but builtbar.com so check out the site check out the Black Friday deals and um, once that deal is done though you can use the Stitch and Lindy 10 promo code for 10% off your order at any time so I hope you guys like this review give me a thumbs up if you did if you haven't subscribed please do so and as always my handles are at the bottom Stitch and Lindy on Connect. And my weight loss journey group is Stitch and Lindy's Weight Loss Journey on Facebook. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.